Hi, in the past I've looked at a bunch of different magnifiers and I won't be going over these particular ones again but just suffice to say that the one on the left hand side, the Ultra Optics one, was the best one out of these five by far. There's a written report containing example images for these magnifiers, however the rest of the video covers new ones. For this video I'm going to try and keep the focus the same on the camera and uh, not zoom in or out or anything. And uh, this pie is kind of positioned a, a, actually a full arm's length away uh, from the camera position um, just to try and simulate what it might be like uh, working, working on a desk. Okay, um, so yeah, um, so here you can see, well, um, as, as, as we get older, it's actually harder to start seeing some of the finer components on that, on the pie. Um, and so uh, I've been looking at various different magnifiers. Um, there's um, the first one uh, is this one. It's uh, man manufactured by a company called Coil. And I don't like this at all. I mean, this was one of the more expensive ones. This is about £55, pounds, about $60, $70. And um, it's got this uh, touch sensitive kind of light. It's supposed to go off by itself like that. Um, and then it just turns on when you pick it up um, but actually sometimes um, sometimes the light just stays on um, I think it detects the, the different surface um, brightness but yeah um, so I, I'm not always sure if this is going to be on or off unless it's put in the case that's in, in the dark case it does tend to turn off um, I don't like this because um, uh, if, if I try and show here you can see how bad that is um, it's actually really hard to, to to find any position where where things are viewable. Let me try and get that a bit better. Yeah, you can see there. Um, right in the centre, you can start reading the text there, uh, but all around the edges, it's actually very hard to make anything out. It's just all distorted, and there's actually quite a lot of reflections as well off that. Um, so it just makes it you know, quite hard to use, which is a real shame because initially I thought this might be quite good, um, but it just goes to show that um, spending more doesn't mean that you'll get a better magnifier. Um, I liked it because it had um, AA size batteries, so they should last a really long time uh, compared to the AAAs some of the uh, magnifiers use. Um, but yeah, and, and also the light I thought was in a good position as well, um, and, and nice and bright there. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the actual quality of the, the lens is awful. And uh, uh, this is the second coil product I've used. And uh, the, other, the first one was pretty bad as well. Um, so I'm not going to go for a third one. Uh, I've learned my lesson with, with them. Um, there's also <laughs> free ones. Uh, this one came from Coilcraft. If you buy any of their inductor kits or any of their kits, uh, they, I think they usually always send uh, one of these along with that. Um, it's actually not too bad. Um, you can put it down and you can just about start reading some of the text. Oh, I'm going to turn this around just so some of the text is upright. Yeah, it's very hard to um, show on, on the camera, but uh, I mean, I can read clearly from from arm's length. I can read the capacitor value and um, the, the writing there, C92, C93 and C9, for example. That's um, really clear to me. And also... Uh, if I look at some of the components on this side, like uh, the SOT23 size components here, and if I place that here, I can make out the lettering on that. Um, so yeah, so it's it's quite usable, I think. All right. Uh, there's also the, these types of tools. And this one's from. Edmund Optics and uh, th these are loops and you're supposed to actually the way these work is uh, you have to actually have your eye very close to the um, to um, to the magnifier uh, very close to the loop and then um, the point of this is that your eye can still focus at like a distance um, so you're not straining your eye by having this so close to your eye uh, it does mean that it restricts the use of this. You don't actually, you can't use this for, for example, for soldering or anything like that uh, while looking through it because you've actually got to have this position really close to the eye. So if I 
demonstrate this by just bringing this up close to the camera. If you look through it with the eye, it's actually much clearer, but it's very hard to position this. I'm just holding this uh, with my hands in front of the camera. But you can get a good idea of the kind of resolution that you can get by looking through that. Uh, and bear in mind that the camera is still focused at a distance. Um, so it's actually really good for the eyes. Um, you're not straining the eye at all uh, to be able to look in such close detail with that SOC 23 component. Um, so yeah, so that's um, using this. Um, you can get other ones as well, like this one was from Amazon. Uh, it's uh, another loop as well. So again, uh, you use it in the same way as you use this one. I think this one is a bit lower cost, um, but it's actually physically smaller. Um, so I don't really like using this too much. I, I put it on a neck thing. Um, so at least it's handy while working, but it's not the, not the most ideal tool. For soldering work, this is actually one of my favorite uh, tools. So this is called the Optivizer, and um, it does look a bit weird, <laughs> uh, but when you put this on the head, you can you can um, quickly flip it out of the way by pushing it up, and then push it down uh, for when you actually want to use it. Uh, or you can kind of put it like in a midway position about here, so that um, you can still look down, uh, but just physically move your head and move your eyeballs up a little bit, just to uh, uh, look closer up when you need to. So that kind of gives you the best of both worlds, a bit like bifocals really, uh, using it that, that way. And um, this comes in uh, different uh, different um, strengths. Uh, I've only got strength number four, and uh, that seems to be fine for my uses anyway. Um, it's got this um, fake leather thing. So it's actually quite comfortable uh, wearing this. I can wear this for you know several hours, and it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It's got, it's got this uh, adjustment on the side to just make this uh, stiffer if required or looser. Uh, and at the back here, uh, there's a, a adjustment for the size of your head. So that just opens and closes uh, from here. Okay, um, and uh, uh, the benefit of this is that when you put this on your head, your eyes are maybe an inch away from here. Um, so it's so it's you know quite quite comfortable wearing this, uh, and uh, whatever you're working with can be about four or five inches away from here. So um, you can you know move your head quite close to what you're working at, uh, but still have plenty of clearance for soldering or you know doing whatever you're trying to do with the small small components. Um, so again, if I try and demonstrate this, just by putting it close. To, uh, and, and the field of view um, is about the um, width of the pie. Once, uh, so once you once you're wearing this on your head, you can bring this up close enough to be able to see the entire pie um, yeah, size approximately um, in in good detail. So if I try and show that again, this is going to be a bit awkward to do. But all right, so <laughs> I put this. Um, about an inch away from the camera now. And again, I'm not adjusting the focus or anything on the, on the camera, I'm just leaving that where it is. And let me try and adjust this. There, so you can see, and, and this is qu yeah, quite representative of what you see when you're looking through it, but you won't see all of that white haziness. Um, I think that's just uh, being caused by light coming in that strange direction with there. So you can imagine like working uh, doing soldering on a on a board this size uh, with with this you know typical size components uh, is actually very comfortable um while wearing this hang on let me try and get a better image maybe on the other side of the board so it's actually very comfortable working in soldering 0603 even down to 0402 size components with this and there's actually you know lots of lots of detail there and uh, yeah there's a good 6 inches maybe seven actually, you're about seven inches distance uh, between the end of the optivizer and uh, where the board is placed. I've also tried uh, this tool, which um, is by Carson. 
and it's tweezers with the built-in magnifier and to be honest I don't like this at all um, it's, it's got a built-in LED so the concept's quite nice that you know the LED here comes off so you've got um, you're able to you know pick something up and actually view it as well um, but the reason I don't like this is simply the tweezers are pretty awful you gotta press them quite hard to grip anything and they're not designed for electronics I think they're just uh, you know just designed for uh, I don't know because beauty work type stuff but then it's yeah for electronics work I think it'd be extremely hard working with this um, but you can see the concept was quite nice like if I look through here you know you can get kind of um, get quite quite a nice clear image there um, similarly, if I try and find that SOC 23 parts again, which is here, so there it is. And um, from from where I'm looking, which is about one and a half feet away, I can just about start making out the text on that SOC 23 part. So yeah, it's uh, the actual lens is good, I think. Uh, but I think the rest of it as a concept is not great. And also it uses a tiny watch battery, so um, I don't know how long that would last with this. So you can tell I don't like it. I've, I've, I've put it back in the case since I bought it and I've not used it since. Um, it's not really usable for electronics. Um, so yes, I was quite disappointed in that product, um, but I'm glad I carried on trying some of the other Carson products because uh, this one is actually really nice. Um, this one's got 2.5 times magnification, uh, but it's also got this inset for 5 times magnification. The inset's not, not very useful, I don't think. Um, but this is actually a really great magnifier. Um, let me try and show you the kind of view that you get. Um, so you can see that everything is... This is aspheric, and that seems to be making a, a difference. So yeah, there's lots of you know, detail visible here. And uh, this is about 3 inches away from the pie. So you could you could work and do soldering and soldering work under this uh, if this was mounted in, in a holder of some sort. Uh, I think it's uh, really worth it. It's only ten pounds, uh, so about twelve fifteen dollars. Um, I think it's a great tool, and it also comes with this uh, sleeve thing as well for protecting it afterwards as well. So yeah, I think it's great value, and uh, I think this is one of the better ones, that I've, one of the best ones actually that I've used. And so, because that one was uh, so good, that I thought I'd try one more uh, Carson one, and I ended up getting this one, which doesn't come with this. I actually um, had to get this sewn uh, just to protect it. Um, but yeah, so it's a very similar tool to the, the other one. Let me just show. Kind of size comparison. Um, the difference is this one's got built-in LEDs, and it's got three of them, uh, two AAA batteries. Uh, but I think still, even though they're AAA and not AA, I think they'll last a, a good length of time just from experience with the other magnifiers that have contained AAA ones. Um, and uh, it's got a time seven magnifier here, uh, and the main one is two point five, uh, same as this one. And again, this is aspheric. And um, the image quality is really excellent, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's really clear. Uh, and again, yeah, about three inches, I think, I've got the, um, between the, the pie and the magnifier. So plenty of space to work in there. And this is with the light off, I can turn that. Okay, this is that full brightness. And there's a mid brightness setting as well there. So that's uh, you know super convenient if the if the lighting's poor and uh, the batteries are in here. And um, this is I think fifteen pounds, fourteen or fifteen pounds. Um, so yeah, this I would say is is definitely worth getting. Uh, uh, if if not if not this one. I think they're both as good as each other, but this does have the, the edge that it's got the built-in LEDs. And actually another really cool thing is um, this magnifier here ends up being quite useful because um, if, you want to, if you want to read the parts, um, the, um, the markings off, 
of some of the components, uh, then uh, if you turn the light on, then what happens is um, uh, the, the lighting is actually just right for looking through here as well because you don't want the lighting to come you know directly from the top down um, because uh, that makes it hard to read um, etchings and parts. Uh, so uh, having the light at a shallow angle actually makes it much easier to uh, to read. So yeah, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't come with any like protective sleeve or anything, but you just get some cloth and you know just get somebody to sew something for that.